as our speaker today is an extremely focused rising star who is blasting through the project. She's already completed four, or today will be four. Today will be number four. We have learned that Cheryl is a compassionate care mentor and coach, and she has shared many in, uh, personal life stories with us and many skills and, and abilities for us to share with our own family members and, and to take into our own practice in daily life. Today, Cheryl is going to share more of her gifts with us, and today we're taking it home to marriage. And Cheryl is going to share with us today the five secrets of a successful marriage. She'll highlight five essential areas, all tied with project number two, which is organize your speech. The objectives for this speech will be, uh, is, can Cheryl put her ideas together in a uh, succinct idea using um, an outline? Can she organize her speech in several different ways um, in order for that suits the topic and uh, allows us to <laughs> you have me today, Melanie. You have me. Uh, is her message clear? Was supporting material directly contributing to that message? Is she able to transition smoothly from one point to the other? And finally, is she able to craft a strong opening and conclusion? Timer. Could we have five to seven minutes on the clock with five at yellow, a green, six, yellow, red, seven, please? And everyone, uh, please help me welcome Cheryl Ketchins to the lectern for her speech titled Five Secrets of a Successful Marriage. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Shh. Today, I'm going to share a secret with you. Five key things that you need for a successful marriage. How many of you are married? Can I see some hands? How many of you would like to stay married? <laughs> wow. Wonderful. Wonderful. The first key of the first secret a successful marriage. One of you has a little piece of paper in front of you, and I think it might be Jarrell. <laughs> Can you share with me what the first secret to a successful marriage is? Trust and respect. Trust and respect. <clears throat> Can you also tell me, in your own words, what trust and respect means to you in marriage? Just a brief Catch on the <laughs> <laughs> um, to me, trust and respect in a marriage will mean uh, mainly trusting that person, not uh, and that they're, I guess, not not always interviewing, interrogating them, trusting that they're doing the right thing, and also respecting them and uh, being respectful and I don't know. <laughs> well said. Well said. Better than I could do. That's really good. Trust and respect in a marriage is essential. It is the foundation of a marriage. You have to begin with trust and respect. If you don't have that, you have no foundation to build a marriage on. You have to understand that when that person goes out the door, you're gonna, you're gonna trust that they have the integrity, the character of the person that you married, you fell in love with, and now they walk out the door, and you're gonna hope that they behave in such a manner that they will not jeopardize your relationship. So if you don't have that, and you're always questioning or sucking guess in that other person, you're not going to have anything. So you have to respect them, them as a, their character and them as a person. Secret number two, communication. The number one thing usually in the, the breaking of a marriage, the lack of communication. You have to talk. Women use more words than men, so we talk a lot. So talk, talk, talk. You communicate you can probably solve almost everything in your marriage any situation that comes up whether it's raising your children your religious beliefs if they differ from each other all those things can be settled just by communicating opening your mouths and just saying what it is you want the other person to understand none of us is inside of the other person's head 
we have no clue what Jeff might be thinking, or Carl might be thinking, or Bethany might be thinking, or Joy might be thinking, or Doug. No one else knows what's in your, in your head but you. So you have to convey that to your partner. What do I know about a successful marriage and staying married? I've been married 40 years. Okay? <laughs> so I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I look 20, right? No, I hardly. But anyway, I've been married 40 years. So I know some of the things that was that required in a successful marriage and how and why you want to stay married to that person. Because marriage is ever changing and you have to grow with that person. But anyway, you gotta communicate about everything that takes place in that marriage. Secret number three, finances. You have to talk about money. So that awesome little thing that people like to, you know, not, not deal with. You're always gonna have a spender, you're always gonna have a saver. In my marriage, my husband, we started out our marriage, he was a spender. So I had a problem with that. You know, we didn't discuss things. We didn't communicate. So he was off buying expensive suits and stuff like that for work without discussing with me what, uh, what impact that may have on me. You know, so he's going to Furman's and he's going to Jacobson's. The stores are not here anymore, but <laughs> he's going there and shopping and buying these high-end suits. And all of that is going to have an impact on me. Well, so financially, you have to dis discuss how are you going to do things in a marriage. Again, there's always a spender, there's always a saver. So now the roles have kind of reversed, and now he's real strict with the money, so he keeps track of everything, bottom line. But the thing is, with finances, both of you should share the responsibility in that. Each partner should have a say. And even if you have to switch roles for a while and let the spender see what the bottom line looks like. Here's the budget. You can't go over the budget. Now you see the numbers, you see where the dollars are coming in. And there should be a shared responsibility in terms of combining those monies. You should have separate accounts. I believe in separate accounts. <laughs> Everybody should have their own money. Because that's a breaker, deal breaker in the marriage as well. When you don't have money of your own that you can go out and buy a pair of pantyhose without talking to your partner, or you want to buy them a gift, and you can't even do that secretly if they've got a, you know, you've got to go to them in a child, you know, parent relationship and say, can I get $5? Well, what do you need that for? Well, I don't have to explain to you what I need $5 for. Give me $5, okay? Respect me and respect that I have a role in the marriage financially and we discuss major expenditures and that each of us has a small pot of money, if you're, especially when you're, well, not especially, but when you're both working, you should have some say. Even if one partner stays at home, they have say, okay? So finances, managing finances in a marriage is key. So. Uh, number number four, avoid criticizing your partner. Try to stay away from criticism where you're belittling someone else or trying to change them. So we all know you can't change somebody else and what they think and how they feel. You can only change yourself. Number five, laughter. <laughs> Don't take yourself so seriously. Laugh. Laugh a lot about life, about you know some of the quirky things that you just got mad about the day before. Laugh. Laughter is huge medicine for any relationship or anything that goes on in our lives. So let's recap real quick. Number one, Jarrell, what is, what is six, uh, secret number one to a successful marriage? Trust and respect. Trust and respect. Can somebody else tell me what number two is? Communication. Awesome. You got to communicate. Number three, finances. Talk about those finances and what each of your respective roles are and share that responsibility in that. Number four, does anybody remember what number four is? Avoid criticism. Yes, don't criticize that person, okay? <laughs> don't try to belittle or take down someone else. Only address your needs and what you what you expect. Number five, does anybody remember what number five is? Laughter. Laughter, laugh, 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 and laugh lots, okay? <laughs> so those are the five secrets to a successful marriage and how to stay married to the person that you love. Thank you. Thank you, Cheryl.